In this video, we're going to show you how to manipulate the y-axis. Now, we're going to use statistics, but this is valid for any graph, and of course, it's also valid for the x-axis. So let's say that we have this data here, and we want to make a bar chart that is a column diagram. So we would come up to our input bar, and we would start typing bar chart, and that's the one we want, list of data, list of frequencies. Our list of data is A1 to A5, so capital A1, capital A5, and then we tab, and then our list of frequencies, that is how many 60s, how many 70s, is B1 to B5. And we hit enter, and nothing happens. Why? Because the data is out here over in the 60s and 70s. So we zoom out, there it comes, and we bring it in here, and we zoom in until we get it like we wanted. Say it. Like that, and we say, okay, this looks great. Let's get rid of this for right now. So right click and deselect show label. Now the question is, what are these numbers? And here we want the y axis, but we just want it to be over here at the left of our graph. So what do we do? We right click in a blank place, go down to graphics, go to the y axis and click on stick to edge and you can see it coming up here right and we close that and now we have the y-axis let's say we add the grid now let's say that we really, really want the grid to be kind of proper so then we we move this until we get the grid exactly the way we want it stuck to the edge there and that's one example so we just change the y-axis to be stick to edge now, let's see another one. Here we want to make a box plot, which is also known as a box and whiskers plot with this data here. So we come up to the input bar and type box plot. So there it is. And this is the one we want. And I always use two and two, and then tab over, and my data is A1 to D10. So A1 to D10, and I hit enter. Again, I don't see anything. Why? Because this data is in the 20s and 40s. So I zoom out until I see it. There comes the box plot. Bring in the box plot over here. And now I particularly like the median, so I'm going to move the median up here and I'm going to change it to be the letter M for median. Okay. And now I really don't want the y axis at all, but I don't want these numbers either. The way to do this is the same thing. Right click go to graphics, go to the y-axis, do stick to edge, now the numbers have gone away, and then turn off the y-axis and you get what you want. That's it. 